It's Tuesday, the 25th of May. Welcome to The Breakfast Show. I'm your host, Mark Anthony, and we'll get to those news headlines in just a second. But first, let's take a look at those all-important celebrity birthdays. It's a happy heavenly birthday to the original Mr. Bojangles, actor and tap dancer Bill Robinson. Happy birthday also to actress Anne Hesch, to actor and comedian Mike Myers, to actor Sir Ian McKellen, and to the mod father himself, Mr. Paul Weller. Many happy returns, one and all. And our global tour by Baseball Cap is at an end. Our Round the World in a Dozen Hats Odyssey makes its final stop in the good old US of A. Uh, I could have gone with a case hat or a caterpillar one. I could have even gone with a bob cat one but to me john deere is the quintessential american brand i'll be back with the old trusty streamer hat again tomorrow but in the meantime Sadly, we begin today with the worst possible news. Uh, You might recall that we reported last week on an incident in Liverpool which a father and son had been seriously injured. Uh, You'll also recall that the father, David Bottomley, subsequently died of his injuries. Uh, Tragically, his 17-year-old son, Clayton, has now also passed away. Um, The father and son have been working together at the Unity building site at the corner of Chapel Street and Runford Place in Liverpool. Um, in a tribute posted to the website of rugby league team Lock, uh, Lock Lane, where Clayton had been a player, Rick Brown said, No parent should have to lose a child, and our thoughts and prayers go out to his mum, Paula, and his sister, Molly, who he adored. I'll come back to this story at the uh, end of the show. Uh, Our thanks to our new sponsor, FOSS, um, for supporting the show. And speaking of FOSS, the company is about to draw back the veil on a brand new product that will take illuminated site safety off the site and onto the road. Would you like a sneak preview? Yeah, of course you would. We'll be bringing you full details of that exciting new product in tomorrow's show. The City of Leeds is scheduled to get a new part eight, part 18 storey block of student accommodation on a site at St Albans Place. Uh, Valued at some £10 million, the project uh, has already attracted the interest of Farron's construction, which is thought to be in contention for the new build portion of the works. But as ever, a kindly and competent demolition contractor is required to demolish the buildings that currently occupy the site. You can find out more about this project lead and many more just like it over at buildersconference.com. Co.uk. Now, claiming that you're about to host uh, the, the product launch of the year is quite a bold statement, particularly when we're only in May. But having taken part in Bobcat's last product launch, I wouldn't be surprised if they actually managed to deliver on that promise. Uh, I'm actually scanning for the 
Um, yes, I have got it here. I thought I'd, I'd press the wrong button for a second there. Uh, the company is about to lift the veil on its new range of telescopic loaders and handlers, and they have teased us yet further with this. We'll be reporting on that in depth just as soon as we can tell you more. Uh, Construction Enquirer is this morning reporting that Deconstruct UK is taking over from weights on the Grenfell Tower safety and maintenance contract. The specialist will take control of the fire ravaged building in July. Deconstruct UK has been working as a subcontractor to Waits Property Services, who have been working at Grenfell since 2017. The latest government update emphasised that Deconstruct UK has not been appointed to demolish the tower. Uh, A government spokesman said if if a decision were taken to deconstruct the tower, we would procure a specialist contractor to carry out any future works on the tower using our usual procurement process. Now, how quickly do you think a Cabelco excavator can change its boom? Half a day? Two hours? An hour? How about 20 minutes? Now, don't worry, I'm not expecting you to sit through 20 minutes of film. Instead, we've got this cracking time-lapse film that demonstrates just how quickly Cabelco can switch from a high reach to a regular boom and get back to work. Are you ready? Pretty impressive stuff, right? <clears throat> so here we are then, uh, reporting upon yet another double death in the UK construction industry. One death is bad. Two deaths are terrible. And the fact that in this instance we're talking about a father and a son just makes this even more tragic. When the Health and Safety Executive presents its annual accident statistics for 2021, David and Clayton Bottomley will be represented as a number. But these two men are not a statistic. There is a family in Yorkshire right now that has lost a father and husband, a son and a brother in a single incident. Clayton Bottomley had his whole life in front of him. David Bottomley was younger than me and both are now gone. Both died within an industry that for all its giant leaps forward continues to maim and kill workers at an unacceptable rate. This is a multi-billion pound industry that can erect buildings that stretch a kilometre into the sky. It's an industry that can construct tunnels beneath the seabed to link cities and even countries. It's an industry that can build roads, bridges and railway lines that would have been unimaginable just a few decades ago. An industry that builds thousands, hundreds of thousands of homes and employs hundreds of thousands of people. The construction industry can be rightly proud of almost everything it creates. But what is the value of that pride when it's an industry that, in the name of progress and in the pursuit of uh, profit, it continues to create widows and orphans? Uh, I always end these shows in in much the same way. I can't emphasise it enough. Please, please stay safe out there. Look after yourself. Look after your family, your friends and your colleagues. Uh, I'll be back here again at 10 a.m. tomorrow for another Breakfast Show. Uh, Until then, thanks ever so much for watching. All the best.